What's up guys, Bobo here and um, today I want to show you guys how to use some of my uh, pictures I have in my GFX pack um, such as my flares or my clouds effect or my fire effects so um, yeah I'm gonna show you how to get rid of the black screen um, on the pictures because on every single pictures I have in my GFX pack there's like the, the black screen behind it so uh, yeah I'm just gonna show you how I did like um, let me show you like this flare here to improve like the lighting effect and the flares on the eyes and you know here on the text so I'm just gonna show you I'm gonna go in my GFX pack real quick and uh, I'm gonna show you how to use them it's pretty easy it's pretty basic so if you're really already you know used to use Photoshop you probably don't have to watch this video but I got a lot of questions uh, in my inbox on YouTube of people asking me how to use them and I don't know I just wanna show it real quick so it's pretty simple there's you know it's always the same thing I do or pretty much always the same thing so um, let's say I wanna I don't know I wanna place a flare somewhere on top of the text so I'm just gonna select one of the flares let's say I just want um, well, this one which is pretty cool I'm just gonna drag it here All right now it's not a good color because I put it under a color effect alright there you go so I'm gonna place it on top everything all right so now as you can see there's like a big screen big black screen around it and I would like to get rid of it because I don't want to see the big black screen on my uh, my background so I'm going here in my um, I'm selecting the layer the blue uh, blue flare layer and I'm going here in the in the mode the layer mode and I'm gonna scroll to the screen which what the screen does is this <laughs> gets rid of the black screen pretty much so now you can just um, place the flare around and um, like right now there's no black screen, no nothing pretty much. There's like this um, pale line here on the side. I don't know if you see it, it's pretty, I don't know, it's not really visible right now because on some background you, you actually don't even see it. But uh, on some background it's probably gonna be more uh, apparent. So um, yeah, sometimes you want to get rid of it. So what I do is that I get the flare, I'm just going to place the flare somewhere we can see it well. I'm going to reduce the size. So, actually going to reduce the size a lot so that you can see the difference. Right, um, so yeah, sometimes you're going to see like, I don't know, maybe there's a mod where you can see like the thing I'm talking about, like the square. Yeah, this this background is too dark, but, uh, but yeah, sometimes like you have uh, you see you still see the square spell, but you still see it. So what I do is that I get the uh, an, the eraser here, and I select a pretty big one, um, so that you know I can when I erase it doesn't looks like I've erased by spot. Otherwise, like you you're gonna see a circle of the eraser in it. So I get like a pretty big one like this, and uh, you know I start erasing the corner. Here. Here. So yeah, you just do that, and that's pretty much it. So now you have your flare, and uh, you still have the glowy, uh, glowy of, like the glow effect of the light, and you know you can place it anywhere pretty much. So that's what I do with the flares. Um, I'm gonna show you what I do with the. Uh, with, uh, other backgrounds, say I want to use clouds, so daisy background too. Open this one. I did something like in this one. Um, I've made the water um, here, like the waves, the rock, this. So to make that, um, what I did is that I've I've take one of my GFX picture, which is in cloud dust. I think yeah, it's this one. So, try this one. Let's try this one here. All right, no, where is it? All right, there it is. All right, so that's I don't. It's not even like cloud. Actually, it's water. Pretty sure it's water. It's not cloud. Oh wait, it's my it's in my uh, cloud folder. But whatever. Um. So yeah, what I did is that you know there's still the the, the black screen around it. So what I did is just same thing I did with the flare, just the screen effect and actually you know it gets rid of the whole black thing. 
So yeah, that's it. That's pretty much all I do for uh, for every single picture that I have that, you know, I have a big, a big black screen around it. So if I take this picture, um, it's great. Sometimes it looks really pale though. So if you want to make them like what I do with the first two, uh, if you want to make them like or I don't know, it's super brilliant or whatever. Um, you just duplicate them. So uh, let's say I'm gonna take a flare. Um, this flare again. Right. Screen. Reduce the size. All right. So you know that it's pretty bright already, but it, you know if you duplicate them with Control J, you know, it gets brighter. So you can uh, right click on the layer 2 and go into duplicate layer here. I use Control J because I don't know, I'm used to it. So yeah, what I do is that usually I put the screen effect, then I erase the borders to make sure that there's no, no uh, sharp edge or no black screen that you can see. So I just erase it real quick, blah blah blah, then Control J. That's it. That's what I do. And yeah, so that's, that's how I use my picture from my GFX file. Uh, if you guys have any other question uh, concerning my GFX pack, just let me know in the comment or just send me an inbox and you know if I get enough requests, I probably make a, uh, a tutorial. So yep, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like and a comment. It always helps me out and I hope I'll help you with this uh, tutorial and I'll see you in my next uh, speedart video which should be released um, somewhere this week. So yeah, have a nice day guys. Thank <laughs> you.